This weekend, NASCAR heads to one of the most nostalgic and classic tracks on the schedule as we head to Darlington Raceway for the Goodyear 400. Let's preview the throwback weekend. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, give me your thoughts on this video. Who do you think is going to win at the Lady in Black? Plus, let me know any improvements I can make on the channel. Back at Darlington Raceway, the track too tough to tame, the Lady in Black. This track is so different, and it's so nostalgic. This is one of NASCAR's most classic tracks. That's why they hold the throwback weekend at Darlington Raceway every year. There's a bunch of throwback schemes being ran this weekend. If you want to take a look at these throwback schemes, take a look at a video I made yesterday going over all the throwback schemes being ran in the Cup Series event. So a nostalgic-filled weekend at a phenomenal racetrack that always produces great racing. By the end of this race, you'd expect a lot of cars to have a lot of right-side damage from getting up into that outside wall as that's the fastest way around the track. I'd say Darlington is one of those tracks where you don't really have to focus on racing your competitors. It's all about racing the track, taking care of your tires. With it being the Goodyear 400, I'm really hoping that Goodyear brought a good set of tires to the racetrack this weekend. Last season at Darlington, we saw Hendrick take over this place with William Byron winning in the spring and Kyle Larson winning in the fall. I would expect all four Hendrick drivers to at least be competing for a top 10 this weekend. I feel like one of the reasons you saw Hendrick win both races last year, this is a race where crew chiefs mean more than ever. Crew chiefs, spotters, this is a pure team race, in my opinion. There will be some strategy involved. And like I mentioned, you I expect to see a good amount of tire saving. And some of these drivers get a little overzealous and push the car too hard. And that's when the crew chiefs and spotters coming into play, saying, hey, back it down a little bit, save these tires for the end of the run. Daddy, chill. It's also really difficult to pass at Darlington Raceway, with it only really being one lane. It's not like you can't get side-by-side. -side. We've seen side-by-side -side racing at Darlington, but I don't think there's a single track on the Cup Series circuit where it's more difficult to go side-by-side -side other than Darlington. You can maybe throw Martinsville and Texas in that as well. So like I said earlier, expect a lot of battered race cars, a lot of destroyed right side, a lot of donut marks, a lot of Darlington stripes, as they like to call it. All right, now let's get into some of the favorites I have for this weekend at Darlington Raceway. I already mentioned the Hendrick Bunch. I think Kyle Larson is the standout amongst that bunch. Byron, I think, could perform really well as well. But the story of the season, it's been Hendrick Motorsports versus Joe Gibbs Racing. So I would expect the Joe Gibbs drivers to also be really competitive, especially Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin loves this track, and he's on a little bit of a heater right now. Been looking extremely strong these last couple of weeks. Honestly, it's been the whole season for Denny Hamlin, but over these last couple of weeks, he seemed to just pick it up an extra notch. Another driver I would keep an eye out for is actually Eric Jones. It sounds like Eric Jones is going to make his return to the 43 car this weekend after being out for a couple weeks on injury. This is probably his best racetrack. He has won here twice. I would also keep an eye out on Tyler Reddick and Ross Chastain. These two drivers looked really strong at Darlington last season, and they're looking to repeat this season, but improve a little bit so they can get into victory lane. And I really want to put Kyle Busch as a favorite He's been looking strong again these last couple of weeks. He's been picking up the pace. The team as a whole, that number eight team, has looked a lot better over the last couple of weeks. At the same time, I kind of don't want to jinx him because I feel like anytime I talk really good about Rowdy, that's when he begins to have a downfall. I say this pretty much every week at this point, but I don't really expect any of the Fords to be that competitive at the race, I would like to be proven wrong. What the fuck do you think a hater's job is? To hate, so let them mother do their goddamn job. But I just do not see any of these Fords being really competitive. I would consider probably the best Ford driver at Darlington to most likely be Joey Logano. But Logano has looked like one of the worst Fords this season. I think some of you are probably going to say, oh, what about Chris Buescher? Chris Buescher almost won last weekend, and you were counting him out last weekend. 
I wouldn't say I'm counting him out per se at Darlington, but that was a tough loss. That was a really tough loss. I know that Busher is still thinking about that race last weekend, and that could affect him mentally in this race. It would not surprise me one bit, but it also wouldn't surprise me to see Chris Busher and Brad Keselowski up in the top five, top 10 competing. At the same time, I don't see either of them winning the race this weekend. Now that I've gone through some of the favorites, I am going to give my pick to win the race on Sunday at Darlington Raceway. I expect this to be a great battle to the end. I expect two drivers to be competing for this win, and I expect it to once again be Denny Hamlin versus Kyle Larson. A lot of people are not going to be happy with my pick, so I guess you already know who I'm picking. I'm picking Denny Hamlin to win the Goodyear 400 at Darlington Raceway on Sunday. Denny Hamlin loves this racetrack. I, I wouldn't say it's his best racetrack. I would definitely say it's one of his best racetracks, but he is such a huge fan of this racetrack, and over the last month, there's no argument who the hottest driver in the sport is right now, and that is Denny Hamlin. And all season long, it's been either Hendrick or Gibbs, Hendrick or Gibbs. These two continue to go back and forth almost every single week. And I see this being a Joe Gibbs racing week. Now I'm going to give you a dark horse pick. I think there's a couple of pretty decent dark horses in the field. I already mentioned the RFK drivers. I can see them being competitive. I wouldn't necessarily put them down as a winner. With Eric Jones, I would throw the sports book at Eric Jones because he's great at this racetrack. He's Coming off an injury, I'm not sure what the sports books have him at, but he would be a good bet to make for a top five, top three, even the race win. He is more than capable of winning at this racetrack, especially if strategy gets involved. There's my picks for Darlington, the Goodyear 400. Really excited about the throwback weekend and watching all those throwback schemes. A little side note, the Xfinity race is on Saturday, and I've Put it all over all social medias. I guarantee Sheldon Creed is getting his first win on Saturday. If I were to do this, if, if I even could do it, I'd need a guarantee. How do I know you can deliver? You don't, but I can. I really hope I'm right. He's been so close to winning a race, and I, I hope he can get the job done this weekend, it being one of his best racetracks. Clearly, I am a Sheldon Creed fan. But seeing all the throwbacks at Darlington this weekend will be a lot of fun. I'm expecting to see some fun events happening, possibly during the broadcast. You're going to see some drivers go all out and even dress up and do the whole nine yards, which is very exciting. It's, it's cool to see. You see the personalities jump out a little bit more during this weekend. And overall, I'm expecting a great race. Darlington almost always puts on a great show whether there's accidents or not. I know some people watch these races for a bunch of accidents, but Darlington's one of those tracks where you definitely do not need any accidents because tires will play a big factor. You'll have drivers that are really fast on the short run, and some drivers will completely fall off at the end of a long run. There's my preview to the Goodyear 400 at Darlington Raceway. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Who do you think is going to win the Goodyear 400 at Darlington Raceway on Sunday? Let me know in the comments. Do you have a dark horse potentially? Let me know. But that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short, saying peace.